Hello YouTube, it's Most Wanted here. This is another episode of my Feed the Beast Ultimate Multiplayer version. Serious? Thank you. Um, so this episode we're going to make some liquid ducks, which is hard and glass. We kind of did that earlier. Um, again this episode, unfortunately, I'm going to have to chop down some wood. So, where's my axe? There it is. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And not a huge amount of wood, but it's a little bit. It's a decent amount. 18 obsidian. I put up, put the um, pulverizer back in spot. Oh, more than 18. 29. Okay. Put you back up here. I'm just gonna try to get ahead of everything with the sand and um, get a couple stacks of sand going. Uh, but what I really want is obsidian in a pulverized fashion. Uh, I'm going to need some lead. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'll, I'll leave the lead here for now. Um, I've got some things i got to do down here. So, I'd like the conduit to come along here. Let's flip these guys around. We'll do our red wire along here. Could potentially even slap it right up against the machines. And then we're going to do um, a... Uh, uh, one of these guys down here, the um, liquid things. Oh my god! Found it, aqueous accumulator. So I was thinking of as the servo. It's two iron, one redstone. Is that silver? Glass. Okay. And then tin, glass, and buckets. Like so. How are we doing here? It's a little bit more mastering to do. Gonna make as much hardened glass as I can. Alright, so that's aqueous accumulator. I think I've got some red wire here. Along with our lever. I'll just run the good like so. That would work. Don't want to try and run them now because first of all, I'm not hooked up anything. Second, I don't have any water, so that would be bad. Um, I can do the aqueous accumulator and the water blocks. Okay. So we have a water source there and there. And then we want machine to be facing Okay, it's receiving water. Definitely gonna need liquid ducts for this setup. <clears throat> I'll leave it run. Alright, so 
hardened glass. We've got this guy, and we need 15. Half that number in lead. So let's get our no, no, induction smelter. Uh, right, right. I don't know why it was sitting there doing. Oh, it's probably activated by the lever. Okay. I could turn the redstone signal off. So most of these guys, um, including the magma crucible, the liquid transposer, our pulverizer and our powered furnace can be turned on and off with redstone signals and because I had this guy on in the back it turned off the machine in the front so let me flip this back on again fill its buffer up so it's running full potential I'm actually going to break down to just one engine No reason to get them all heated. Okay, flick it off. Yeah, you barely any heat added to them. So you can do them for short periods of time without a problem. Alright, so here's my hardened glass. I think the liquid duct is copper. Yeah, just copper. So we're gonna need 60. You know, I don't wanna do all of this because I, I might need some conduit later. So let me do, do six. Yeah, it should be 24 liquid duct. That's fine for now. Because the liquid duct acts a little bit like our energy conduits. They've got inputs and outputs pre configured. And like that. So they should all be receiving water. Now we don't have to worry about the heat level of the machines. This episode, uh, I've done some thinking about, at, you know, the kind of arrangement and order I want to, to kind of get this ball rolling. Because we've got the machine built, and all I gotta do is flip a switch, and and stuff will start entering an ender chest. And you know, if it's got no place to go, then stuff starts flying around on the ground, hits on, hits the ground, creates lots of lag and all that great stuff. Don't want it to happen, so I need to have a way of storing it, processing it. And then, of course, eventually crafting with it. Um, but right now, I don't have that. So I need, I need an, a way of uh, storing it mainly. Uh, I was thinking of bar barrels, but I want to go to uh, advanced energetics pretty sh soon. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to futz around with barrels. They take up a lot of space. Um, you know, it's one item type per barrel. And... Uh, with Greg Tech now, there's a whole bunch of more ores out there, uh, and that would mean even more barrels than what I had when I was doing Direwolf's uh, FTB. So uh, I, I think I'm going to go straight to, to Advanced Energetics, but what I might do is focus on storage only early on, uh, storage and crafting. Uh, and then I'll do the crafting machines, and I'll hook up... Um, advanced energetics to to uh to other machines that I'll use to uh to process the ores and stuff. So I uh, I'm gonna do the, the advanced energetics early on, a little bit earlier than I would normally, uh but I'm gonna focus purely on the uh I'm gonna focus purely on storage. So this is gonna be storage for all the uh output of, of my mining machine. And Believe it or not, I'm the first one with a mining machine on the server. So I could, what I could do is I could go back here and um, 
You go to the mining gauge. And I can tick this most wanted. Uh, I can punch it. There we go. So, so most wanted has a mining machine active in the in the world. Not active active, but it is out there. It's it's about ready to go. I just need to get my storage sorted. There we go. So I'm the only one right now with a machine in in the age. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm the only one with a machine in the age. So yay me. Haha. <laughs> but um I I really need to get the storage taken care of because what I have right now isn't gonna isn't gonna be able to deal with it. So uh advanced energetics, a lot of the items you could just type in ME space and you'll have a list of most of it. It'll be all of this in here. Um, I'm going to create probably... I want to combine advanced energetics with another cool mod. Um, I forget what mod this comes with. I think it's factorization, which I'm also going to try to get into as well. Not factorization. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that later, but the deep storage unit can hold, an, it's a very much like a barrel, where it only holds one type, but it can hold up to two million of one type. So that would keep, that would allow me to store cobblestone, sand, dirt, gravel, and other things like that. They're, they're going to be just massive quantities of. <clears throat> and then prevent the filling of my um, ME drives that I'll be uh, creating. So what I'll probably do is I'll create one decent sized ME drive. No, actually I think I'm just gonna create a couple 64s. Um not 64s, uh, 16s. Uh because the 64 I had, even when I used my most populous uh items, they really weren't really wasn't able to make good use of it, the 64s. I mean if I was going to um have an ME storage unit that was dedicated to sand dirt cobble and all the other stuff, then I would probably use the 64, but I don't think it's really necessary now. I've okay, so we have a an advanced processor which we have to, to create, and then um, from that we'll be able to generate uh, the ME controller. So the first thing we're going to have to create as part of ME is a quartz cutting knife. And that's pretty easy. Uh, I'll, the main things we're going to be using in this mod is quartz crystal and quartz dust. I've been trying to mine a, a bunch of it manually, but um, hopefully I'll have enough. Um, right now I'm not sure if I have enough or not to get this whole thing started. That's why I'm going to keep it really small. And then as, the, um, as everything kicks off, then um, I'll be able to do more. So... Two quartz crystals, iron, and two sticks gives you a quartz cutting knife. It's a lot like the saw, uh, the hand saw, um, as we use recipes with it. It's going to lose a bit of durability. So uh, we'll see, you know, eventually have to replace it. So the first recipe is going to be an advanced processor. And of course, it's going to use a diamond. Now, I have 49 diamonds purely because. I converted some gold and some iron into gold, and then that gold went into creating some diamonds, uh, expecting that I'm going to need a decent number of them, because advanced processors are pretty common when it comes to crafting uh, for this mod. Alright, we're also going to need some silicone, which is quartz dust that's been cooked. So, let me do this here and I can pull this out um, so let's see hopefully that'll be enough for a while <clears throat> so we'll let that cook I only need one for this recipe Right, we've got a couple now, cool. So I'll put that on the table. So we need a silicone, we need two redstone. Our c 
cutting knife and a diamond. It's going to create an advanced processor. And then we'll put that in. Man. Really could use another furnace. Right, so we'll let that cook real quick. And then put this back in. Alright, so we've got advanced our advanced processor. Let's go back to the ME controller. And the way the ME controller works is um, your your ME uh, network is uh, the devices on devices in advanced energy energistics work a little bit different. They've got ME cables that connect all the devices. And the ME cable uh, transfers power and items. And uh, every device has to be connected to it, to it or another item directly connected to another item on that network. So uh, we're going to need to have uh, an advanced processor which controls the entire network. And the crafting of that guy is uh, four quarts. Then we've got our advanced processor in the center and some iron around the outside. And this is very common. Uh, quartz, iron, processors, redstone, silicone. These are all kind of the major, major uh, materials you're going to need for crafting in this mod. So the controller can be pretty much anywhere. Um, Got a little graphic bug there with the uh, oh, conduits. I'm not sure exactly why, uh, but this guy does need to have access to some sort of power. So I'm going to put him right there. So now he's got power. He's currently using six units per tick, and uh, there's a conversion ratio of MJ to uh, these uh, energy units, and also you could you could siphon in. Um, EU into it. So I could potentially run a copper wire down there uh, that would also run it and I might actually do um, when the need calls for it because I could be sending uh, lava into the generator and the generator could run the entire network. But there'll be a point where it gets too big and you know down the road. But uh, for now that's the first device that's most important. Now we're also going to want um, we're going to want a storage device and there's a couple different storage, well there's two basic storage devices. Um, you've got these uh, 64, 16, uh, and 8K or 1K storage devices and these fit into either a chest, an ME chest, which is this guy right here, and he just acts like a regular chest, but when you put a storage device in him, then he has the storage capability of that uh, storage drive. Uh, I'm not going to create these chests because um, I don't need to see every single storage drive. I don't need to be able to access them individually. I just need stuff to be put into them. So um, I'm not going to do the chest. I'm going to just do the drive. And what's cool about the drive is the drive... Uh, where is it? Uh, can hold multiple of those storage devices. So if I had a 16K, I could put a 16K in a chest, or I could have, I think, up to eight 16Ks in an, an ME drive. And that would be one device using the same amount of power as a chest, but it would have eight times the capacity if I filled them all with eight, uh, 16K drives. So that's really helpful when it comes to managing the network and limiting the power usage and you know, not having chests all over the place. But there are some, you know, some instances where you maybe want to have a chest um, and you want specific things to be in the chest. And there are ways to do that inside ME or inside of a Advanced Energetics, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. So uh, let's go ahead and make the, the drive. So this time we need basic processors. So basic processors, quartz cutting knife, silicone, redstone, and gold. So pretty similar but this time we're using gold. Alright so let's get some gold out. Gold, quartz, redstone, silicone. 
I'm actually just going to make three of these since that's all the uh, silicone I have. Um, we'll go ahead and cook them. Okay, so these guys are cooked. Um, I might even create a recipe for this for them, but um, so now that they're cooked, I can pair it with a chest, glass, and iron. So let me grab some planks. So I can just create some planks, I guess. No way, I've got some planks somewhere. I just there you go. A chest, a glass on both sides. I think there's some iron involved, and then the processors. Okay, so here's the drive. So We've got options. I could potentially put the drive anywhere as long as I've got an ME cable connecting to it. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it roughly where I'm going to put the output of my uh, mining machine. And I think I was just going to um, have it come out up here somewhere. So I'll just put it here. So it's receiving power. And you can see here we have a new device that's in this window. There was previously nothing. Now there's this one device. And our power units from 6 to 8. So that's pretty important to keep track of. Every time uh, you add a new device, it's going to cause you know, your network to, to use more power. But also when you, when you do a, a function, like you move an item from one location to another, it's also going to take just a little bit of power. So here is the storage block. These things are really kind of time consuming to make. So I'll probably just make, you know what? I think I'm going to do a, a, a fabricator because that might make this a little bit easier. I was going to make one before for that other project and I didn't. So we need some engineering blocks. Okay, I think I've got I need some more Zycorite. Zycorite's not that difficult to find. It's not that difficult to convert into ingots. You just cook them. I'll just do some red. I'm not going to need 64. Uh, I'll do 8. Okay. There we go. We only need four, but I figured I'll double the, uh, the the required need so that if I need it some more later, I have it. So four in the corners, I think, and then we needed some uh, brick. Brick was in the other locations. Was a brick in the center? No. Uh, what was in the center? Crafting table. Okay. Uh, I think I have a couple crafting tables laying around. I think it might be over here. <clears throat> Yay for sorting my junk. Or stuff is. Um, something's wrong. Fabricator. Oh, shush block. Okay, so I, it was redstone. I was I was ahead of myself there. Okay, so I got four. I think I put these in the corners. I think I put the project table in the center. And then stone and iron. So I've got iron. It's just the top, right? Yeah. And then I had like five stone in my hand a second ago. So stone. There we go. Alright, so this is a pretty cool little device. Um, think of it as a assembly table. 
but on steroids. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to look up the storage device again. We do 16k. This guy's got a lot of levels to him. He's got a storage block and storage segments and storage cells which all need basic processors. So the basic processor I need to make 12 of. Okay, well I've got an extra one here. Uh, I'm going to need a cutting knife, gold ingots, redstone, and silicone. I need 12 of 12 silicone. I don't have that. So how much silicone do I have? Oh yeah, I've got 12 actually. I think I'll need a little bit more for the advanced processor. Um, but let me go ahead and make the what I need. Um, so what we do with this table is we're going to open up the recipe for the thing that we want to create, which is a basic processor, this guy right here, with the question mark, and it imports the recipe. So as soon as it gets the materials uh, it needs, it will generate as many as you put in the material for. So I actually need 11, not 12, since I have a basic processor. I'm going to be stingy. All right, so uh, I'm going to put in 11 gold. Then I'm not going to be too careful about everything else. Um, crystals. Okay, so I'll put in gold, that, that, and that. Boom, we got 11 processors. We didn't have to um, do too, too much work for. So we got those going. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll put something in there real quick. Okay. Now that got that done. Uh, so we've got 12 basic. Let's make it advanced. I'm not going to bother to do the um, advanced in the table. Uh, we need another diamond. And then, what was it, redstone or glass? Okay, there we go. Advanced processor. I'll just stick that right there. It gets the sand out. Cool. Why is there a basic processor sitting in there? Uh, okay, here we go. Oops. Get out of there, Sam. I don't want any glass. There we go. Um, all right. Let me put this sand away. All right. So we've got a decent number of processors. Where did they go? I'm going to put them right there. There and there. I think we've got the processors we need. So that's good. Um, then we need redstone. Uh, let's make our storage cells. So basic processor, redstone, and crystal. Uh, I'm going to take the basic processors. I'm going to leave. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so we're going to do 16K storage block, storage segment, storage cell. And this is what we want to make. We want to make storage cells. So we're going to put in just 12 processors and then we put as many crystals and redstone as we want because it should force it to only produce as much as we've got in processors okay so 11 yeah see we ran out of crystal I was afraid of that okay so we just needed I want to say crystal there we go so 12 we really didn't need a lot but I, I figured I, I would get a decent amount Alright, so got 12 storage cells. 
Now we need to turn those storage cells into segments. So we need a basic processor and three storage cells, all that blah blah. So let's do this, switch the recipe up in here, hit to that. Then we put our storage cells in there, put some redstone, put basic processor, uh oh. Shoot, I made too many storage cells is what I did. Uh, I was supposed to make nine of those. I made too many. And of course, in the process, I used my basic processors up. So I need to make uh, three basic processors is what I need to make. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So let's put our basics in there. And we need redstone. We have redstone. We need glass. So three storage segments. Now we need to make our storage block. So we need the advanced processor, some glass, the segments, and some glowstone. There we go. So then we just need to, to create the, the drive itself. Um, so glass, redstone, storage cell, iron. So put this back in and we just get three iron. So you see pretty quickly it's it's not a bad setup. It does it does speed up production stuff pretty well. So we'll go ahead and put this in. I feel comfortable starting this uh, the quarry up with just one of these guys in here, because we've got um, zero of sixteen thousand change bytes, um, and that's kind of relative to the number of items, but not exactly the number of items. Uh, and then sixty-three types of different items. So just like a barrel only fits one type, that guy can fit sixty-three. And if I'm not messing with it too much, then we shouldn't hit that 63 type uh, barrier all that quickly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, I'm sorry for everyone that watched it and you got annoyed that I said advanced energetics when it's really applied energistics. Um, I also call it ME uh, just because most of the mods are ME space something or um, every once in a while I'll, I'll call it AE just to shorten the name because I have problems pronouncing it sometimes or I just pronounce it flat out wrong but um, we went ahead and this episode we, we built the absolute bare minimum of, of what is a uh, an AE network of devices and we're purely using it right now for storage but we're going to expand it on future episodes so thanks for watching thanks for watching an episode of my Feed the Beast Ultimate video series if you had any questions, comments, or ideas about what went on in the video, then please leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Also, if the video was helpful, useful, or entertaining to you, then please like the video. If you did find this episode entertaining, then feel free to visit my YouTube channel and find the Feed the Beast Ultimate playlist to watch other videos. And subscribe while you're there so you know when the next video is available. See you next time.